Welcome back YouTube, to to UK, Tales from the Buddha. That they may take our lives, but they'll never take our Buddha. The fucking up Buddha. Don't know when this one's gonna go, I might split it. Well I will split it, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna upload first. Probably it will be the previous videos which you've seen. Um, so yeah, this will be afterwards. It's fucking hot. <laughs> We're in the room, 38.7, and climbing, door shut, wife's in, she was in the garden, she's no longer in the garden. I am leaking, which is not a bad thing because I'm a fat bastard and I could do with losing some weight. Tales from the booter, um, a few nice bits, nothing that's going to blow your bloody doors off, as I like to say, but alright. Was well, that Doncaster, uh, yesterday, Saturday, yeah, made a few quid, did alright, so had some funds. For the booter, we went to. We were, we were booting. We were booting. And do you know, given it was a real, in terms of the weather, I think if the weather because it was always had, you know, um, forecast to be fucking red hot. But early doors, it, you know, it, it was a bit, a bit on the chilly side, a bit on the chilly. Um, so it's not as big as I've seen. I was, I said to Ryan, I was expect it to be massive, but it was a bit. You know, it's not about how big it is. It's about what's in there. And early doors. There was not a great deal in there. It was like one field full, and I, you know, I picked up the odd one or two things. And it was like one of these ones where there's loads of stalls, but there's nothing in them. If that makes sense. Uh, but it got better. It got better, and not that I've got you know anything outstanding here. I've also got a tag on CEX. I'm gonna do a bit CEX in on this one as well, because um, again that piles quite uh, quite high. Right. So first first up. First up to the hockey, first up to the hockey. These weren't the first things I bought. Really random, really random. Some guy, I've got a few guys that go booting up people like this. It's, he's obviously like a, a tradesman. I don't know, it might be a fucking tiler, um, builder, fucking plumber or something. And they use their works van. And, um, yeah, or well, fucking fitting satellite dishes, whatever it was. And he pulled this. There's this tub on the floor. I speak to Ryan and I recognise him straight away. I went straight over. So how much of the cassettes? How much of the old cassettes? He goes, how many are there? And there was five. He said, oh, five. I said, okay, fine. Um, then I sort of checked. I said, I think one's empty. I said, four quid. He went, yes, four quid's five. So he gave me the empty case. I've had a pile of these before. Uh, I always thought they were really cool. Uh, I didn't have the system. I still haven't got the system because I sold the other ones on. Um, um, I'm going to say it now, hopefully they'll watch it, because I did say this last time, and I don't think they watched it. I think it's Mark Vahia. I think it's Mark Vahia. Laptop Police Prime. So, Valter, if you're watching this, and tell Mark to watch this, because I'm sure the last lot I had, I did sort of say, look, if you're interested, I'll, you can have one, I'll, you know, do your deal. So, if you're interested in these, you can have these. That's if he's watching. Anyway, these are for the Magnavox, or the Philips GX7000, the GS7000. The video packs. Uh, this one is... Without a cover, this is video pack 11, Cosmic Conflict. They are quite a funky little case. It's strong, back in the day, not stronger than the Dreamcast. So, then I'll see them. They are, I think the design of them is spot on. You know, handle, bump, push it in. It's all covered, so very little dust gets in there. Um, so, I had to pile these before. We have, and not all these match up, this is one that's empty. So this is Freedom Fighters, number 39, they're all numbered as well, but that's empty. Uh, we have, I think this matches, yeah, number 9, I don't know what that is, Reba Castle Wildlife Park, if that's sticker off. This is the programming one, computer program, computer program, number 9. Number 9. Okay, I'll show that in a minute. So yeah, that matches up, because that's number 9 there, look. And it's got this little thing on the back. Uh, it means fuck all to me. This one doesn't match up. This is the case for number one, which is uh, video pack one, which is race, spin out, and cryptogram. <laughs> so it's, it's basically the Magnavox Odyssey in the States. Over here, it's, I'm sure it's a Philips GS. It doesn't actually say what it just says Philips on it. But this is number 18. The actual cartridge is number 80, which is Laser War, which I think probably sounds a lot better than the uh, race spin out and uh, cryptogram. And this one, I, I this is one of the ones that I had before when I had the job lot. 
and this is um, stone sling catapult and what's your thing uh, maybe it's just called no it's just called stone sling or catapult this is of different languages and they're called the same sort of similar thing but yeah it does match up so yeah if uh if any of the Dutch contingent are interested in them or anybody else let me know they're no good to me so for four quid I thought I'll have a punt man got me worth a punt you don't see stuff like that very often right that's sweating too much burning my eyeballs off uh, there's a chap that had a box of Lego massive box of Lego no fucking lurch. Oh, it's Lego. He went 50 quid. He literally walked off. So I just swung over, you know, having a nose rad. And I see it in the back of his car, in like, again, like a clear bin liner. I sort of see some PlayStation games. And uh, so I was the games. I said, oh, I don't know, have a look. So have you got any more? And the, the, uh, the wife sort of said, oh, um, we've got PS2 and PS4. So have you got PS1? She said, no. I wouldn't trust the PS4 stuff, it's too risky. So I went through the bag anyway, picked out a couple of games. Uh, what's the other one that on there? Picked out a couple of games, a quid each, four quid fine. Then Lewis, as I was paying for these, Lewis turned up and he looked at the PS4 stuff and apparently he goes, they're really good prices. But Lewis knows all that shit. I'm not, you know, unless I'm cast iron guaranteed, I'm not really touching PS3 or Xbox 360 now. It's just too risky. That the, even, he, even Lewis said, the arse has fell out of it. I'll leave the PS4 and shit to him, I'm not that bothered at the Xbox one. It's, it's too, you know, I think you have to be into it to know the prices. And because the arse falls out of them so quickly, you know, within a month or two months, you know, they're worth fucking next to now. Anyway, four quid, don't think I've done too bad on these. A couple of them I might keep, um, you know, when I stall out perhaps. Uh, Angry Birds Trilogy, CEX, CEX, Lego Man, whatever. Um, Spyro I might keep for the event, that, that's a quite a good sell, it's nice condition. Platinum, but it's still quite nice, all there, all complete, nice shot. Uh, this one I'm not sure of, it is missing the manual, uh, Meg, uh, Rayman 10th Anniversary. It has got all the discs, all three discs, which is quite nice, uh, but it is missing the manual. I've got this already, and mine's complete. So yeah, four quid, I'm not going to, I can't haggle uh, at a pound a game. Um, this chap wanted 150 I thought I was pretty safe with these, to be honest. So three quid, uh, it would give me eight quid, I think four pound each trader. So I made a fiver trading, it's not bad. Sonic Generations and uh, Lego Marvel Superheroes. And the other shit yeah, was like some fucking baseball game. Which is American on it. Right. Uh, another chap had some games, I'm not sure if I missed out on any here. I doubt it because I th would have thought these would have been these would have been gone. Uh, he's lad had a load of wrestling stuff, which is what attracts him to the stall anyway. A load of wrestling figures. Um, it's all on the you know on the mat, and these were like mixed in with DVDs a little bit, and they had a, another separate pile. Uh, so it wasn't like all you know visible in front of you. you. Kind of had to look at the stall to sort of see him. Uh, but anyway, pick these two out. It's how quid each again. Quid each. Uh, Simpsons hit and run. Uh, Rich, Rich King Retro, I saw quite a lot of these uh, yesterday. <clears throat> to be honest, it's not that I didn't know they were worth any money, I just didn't realise how popular it was. Because I always was based on CEX. Uh, but yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, same with this one, Crash Nitro Cart. Get all the stickers off that fucker. But it's all there. Uh, quid. quid each. I'll take them. No more big bud left. Onto the cans. Or the canner. The one's still cooling. <laughs> things don't st things don't say cold enough, long enough in this weather. Um, I'm gonna come to this last. Yeah, we'll do this one here. This is only the game stuff. I pick up all kinds of shit for the car boot. Uh, how did this come about? Oh, it was off the back of some out. So anyway. Long story short, we went back on ourselves, but we don't, Ryan doesn't usually go back on himself, he just, you know, but I sometimes do, I do flit a little bit, um, and I'm glad I did, because this definitely wasn't this woman's stall, and we were just walking the line to get to the end, where it, 
you know, the new ones are coming in. And I seen this and I said, how much is this? She said, oh, fiver. And I had a problem, the door, the tray weren't shooting. She said, oh, yeah, the power has to be on for the tray. I thought, I'm not interested in that. I can fucking get that fixed anyway. I sold one of these at Doncaster for 20 quid. I've got six of them in the garage, which no, none of them had sold at fucking Leeds. So I thought, at a fiver, I'm having it. It's nothing special, guys. It's just a PS1 one. One, 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 one. Um, I do want to find one that hasn't got the sticker on because that would mean it's modded. I wouldn't mind a modded one. I think that's the only system I haven't got. Uh, variant I've got for PlayStation 1 it isn't modded. I'd love a modded PS2. Um, but wouldn't mind one of them modded from a screen. It's got all the hookups, all the shit. Fiver. Yeah, I'm, I'm a player of Fiver. Clean it all up. You know, I think I sold the one yesterday to a little kid and he was so happy. He went, What, for 20 quid? It's got everything with it. I said, Yeah, mate. I said, I, I, obviously, I cleaned it all up as well. I always clean them all, you know. And he was, he was happy as fucking pig and shit. But it's nice when you get it, he's only about like 14 or something. Retro game is dead. No one's buying NES anymore, no one's buying Super Nintendo. Fuck off. What a crock of fucking shit. It's just a cycle. It's a cycle, it's all cycles. Fucking honestly, fucking dickhead. Anyway, right. I think that is it for the gaming stuff. So, uh, that's CX. So the last thing I've got, <sighs> still a good deal. Not as good, well, I suppose it is still a good deal, but it, not as good as I, I want to say not as good as I thought it would be, but I didn't really know how good it was going to be because I just literally bought it and fucking legged it. Put it this way, even for the boxes, for what I paid, it would have been worth it, which is basically what I'm looking at. Um, there's this lady, she's turned up with a pickup truck with a partner. It was, he wasn't even with it. Uh, it's a lovely lady, I sort of said, have you got any gaming stuff? Any old video game, computer games, you know, PS... I have to, and then I have to sort of say PlayStation or Wii or DS, because they don't get it. And she says, I've got some 360 64. I was like, yeah, I'll have a look then. And I had no idea what she was talking about. I'd say amalgamation of about fucking six different consoles. Anyway, long story short is, it cut, she pulled out this box, like a fan box, but within it was a PS1 controller, uh, and then there was four of these. Four box controllers, or four boxes, which at that point I didn't even know contained controllers, but I thought, uh, even at, even at, I said, how much you want? She said, well, there's five there, I'll give us a fiver. So even at a pound a box, I'd pay a pound a box. Right, so we've got a grey one, but <laughs> this is the kicker. The grey one, I thought, I actually thought it was a gold one when I opened it up. I thought I got a golden eye. No, it's not, it's just fucking wankered. But it's just, obviously, the bromides come out for the sun. So, what I'm thinking of is that if I give all these a good clean, I've got nice conditions of all of these colours. So I'll clean all the controllers up. I mean, at the event, people are having, you know, the sticks are fine, they're just, I don't know, doesn't matter. So this is the uh, the yellow one, which is what that came in. I thought it was gold. I thought, oh, it's not, yeah, it's gold. It's not, it's just fucking fucked. But they have got all of the, um, all the holders as well and stuff. And the boxes are in great condition, so I thought, you know, fucking hell, even at a pound a box, man, or one pound 25 a box, you'd do that, wouldn't you? You'd buy them. Um, yeah, so that one was in the yellow one. The grey one has got, I'll show you, another very <laughs> two-tone grey one in it. But again, all the gubbins. Um, a blue one, and I've got a blue controller. I know I have a blue controller. Um, what, what one's this? Yeah, this has got a blue one in it. And at f <laughs> when I looked at it, I thought, oh, it's an aqua, it's like a, um, Ice blue. It's not ice blue. It's blue. It's just it's fucked. God, I swear to God. Look how dark that is compared to this. Look, that's the blue, and that's the blue. God knows where these have been. So that's the blue box, and I've got a blue control. I know I've got a blue controller. I know I've got a grey one, I know I've got a yellow one. Black one I'm sure I've got as well. 
is what we have here is a black black box controller. Um, is this a black one? It is a yeah, it is. Which has fared a little bit better. It's still not. I mean, they're really. I tell you what, the sticks and that are really look. Not bad stick, I tell you. Uh, it's just I don't know what's happened to them. But I said, I'll just keep it for the boxes. So yeah, like I say, it would have been nice if they'd been in better condition. Uh, but it probably just mean the ones that I've got loose that are you know that are okay. I could put them into them boxes. And I'm not hoarding controllers then. I've got a tendency to hoard Nintendo controllers, I must admit. GameCube and then 64 ones, I don't know why. PlayStation ones, I'm less inclined to keep lesser certain colours. It's all about the Nintendo stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. It's 40 fucking, got over 40 degrees now, look. That's a fucking joke. And do you know what it is? To be right about this, it's now 2 240. Everyone sort of thinks, you know, the old saying, Mad Dogs and Englishmen. I mean, mad dogs, mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. In the UK, the hottest is about three o'clock, two, three o'clock. It's not twelve o'clock. That's proof. So I've been in here probably about an hour now. It's just gone up. Um. Right, the last, the last bit from the booter, and I'll do CX then. If my eyes don't fucking burn away for them. World Cup football. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Fucking fantastic, I don't care what you say. Been the best one for a long time, and I'll leave it at that, that's it. Right, so this one, there's not a great deal to, to, to you know, in terms of gaming. The potential, hopefully, fingers crossed, could be massive. Uh, no my luck, nothing could come out of it. So them that do what I do, and I do what you do, etc, etc. Speaking to this chap, and he had some sort of some things that Ryan likes, which is the Star Wars stuff. So I bought them. As I bought them, you know, I was looking around for Ryan, and he come around the corner and said, "Ryan, over here." I said, "Give me twenty-five quid." I just paid the bloke, which he was happy to do. A big box of Star Wars stuff. Uh, so we took that stuff back to the car for Ryan, and I, I come back and I sort of was chatting to the couple again because there, 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 there was these two. There's one thing here. And I didn't pick it up because I think he said two quid and I thought I'm not paying two quid. It's got no instructions. Uh, it's probably worth two quid. Um, some individual, big Mike Hulhan will know. Um, and we were, we were sort of chatting about it a little bit. Um, anyway, so I bought this stuff with Ryan, took it back to, to the car, so hands free. Came back and I started chatting to the couple again. Lovely couple. Um, and in that interim they'd found a few more bits. So the one game that they had first, which when I looked at it, and this is what I opened it up. And so that's just, the box in great condition. So oh, there's no no instructions, sort of things. Like oh right, really? So, oh yeah. He goes, we've got we've got a bag of them. We've got a bag of them discs. I was like really? Now it might have been copies. It might have been games. I don't know. Uh, but this is Worms. No no instructions on the Amiga. A real nice box. So, Mr. Hulahan, if you're interested, buddy, I'm sure we could do a trade or I'll, I'll, you know. I can send you and you can owe me something. I don't fucking know. It's, it is a nice. It's, there's no. There's no smashes to the corners or nothing. It's a really nice box. No instructions. Um, but when I come, obviously that was what was there first, and that's when I got chatting to him after I bought the Star Wars stuff for Ryan. Um, anyway, long story short, it transpires there were his brothers. His brothers passed away. His brother passed away a while back. His mother had recently passed away, and obviously the house is then vacant because so he had to go in he said my mum was as hoarder as, as was my brother uh, so a lot of this is all his brother stuff hence the Star Wars he didn't really know what he had kind of, he knew what he had but he, he just wanted a shot of it the one of these people in that position one of these people they're in that position where they have to empty the house to sell it their boxes of random random shit really did but when I come back they had this one on the table I, look at, uh, I, I didn't even need to lift it up I could fucking feel this one was full so how much is this one then? Because obviously I said it, I could tell it's all there because I could feel from the weight of it. it went two quid on that. Oh, fuck me, it's a fucking Bible. Yeah, it's better for give it. So right, I'll have that. Because obviously I've got, yeah, as I said, I've got chatting to him. So I'll have that. And, uh, 
and he found this out as well. So there's a bit of tape that was uh, jamming the box. Anyway, so I've got Midwinter, Flames of Freedom. It is all there. Fucking tomb of a mandolin there. Tome, 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 not tomb, tome. Tomb's where I'm fucking going to be buried. Um, gotta be honest. Yeah, so I remember Midwinter, I remember the first one, paid with John, we had a fucking clue what was going on. But it was like the first 3D environment. So he had two quid on that, two quid on that. And he had this on the table. I said, how much is that? He goes, a quid. I said, F I said five. I said, I like, I like the sound of a five, I'll do it. Like, we'll do a fiver. I bought them sort of things. I was, I was sort of chatting sort of about my mate Ryan's into Star Wars. Yadda, yadda, yadda. And obviously he'd mentioned his brother just in passing because I sort of said about the stuff. And, uh, have you got any more? Cause, and then he sort of said, oh, I don't really know because it's, it's my brother and he's passed away. So moving on anyway. Got chatting again. And uh, he sort of said, oh, about Star Wars. He goes, I've got, uh, he goes I'm sure there's loads more of it in there. He goes, well, he goes, I know there is. There's more in the loft. I haven't been able to get in there. And I was like, what, really? He's like, yeah, yeah. He goes, whereabouts are you? And I said, oh, I'm obviously where I live. And he was, I'm in the main sort of big city. Um, and I don't know if he didn't have a phone or what, I don't know. So this is where the fingers crossed type thing comes in. So I've given my number. And yeah, I've had a pound for every time I give someone my number. And they've never phoned me back. I'll have about fucking... 102 quid. Uh, so I mentioned it to Ryan because obviously Ryan had gone off and done his own thing. He didn't realise I'd gone back. But they were a lovely couple. Um, so because I was sat there chatting to her, and she's sort of the woman, uh, his wife. So oh, is this any good to you? I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's, that's the sort of stuff I'm after. So oh, you can have it. I was like, really? She said, yeah, let's fucking have it. And there's a few of her little bits, non-gaming stuff that they were just giving me. Um, so she kind of has an inkling of what I'm after. So I say. Uh, he took my number, uh, said like, thanks guys, when I'm on Mary Way, given that he had all this old Star Wars stuff, he's got some Amiga stuff, he's got a fucking mass system, bit of a geek guy he was, so fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed, it might be a little bit of a mine, uh, gold mine, it might be a complete bust, we don't know, we don't know, uh, but you can only try can't you, we, we can but try. So that is it for the game and stuff and the booter, we're done. But a CX. Right. Actually, two games I've told a lie. Two games of the charity shop. Fantastic condition. I haven't got either of these. Um, they may have gone in the call a while back, um, but some of the one and two, I think, the, I know they've gone in the charity shop. He charged me. I think he only wanted fifty pence. So you can have a pound. Fucking hell. And they are in fantastic condition, so they're staying. They are staying. Um, yeah, so they're slight anomalies, they're not really CEX. Right, so CEX in now. Um, who's I speaking to today? Holster. Holster, holster, holster. Holly, Holly Boo Boo's. Holly, Holly Boo Boo Boo. No, she's not Holly Boo Boo. Holster. Um, I think these are all complete now, aren't they? Yeah. She sort of said, oh, I'll score some. She goes, oh, CX Roulette's stew. So fucking done alright. So well done, Bab. Um, so how about you? So, yeah, I've done alright. So, fucking hell, man. Still, still 41 degrees. Um, this is over whenever the last video was. I'd got some upgrades. I think you've seen the upgrades for some of the other games. Yes, you did, because I remember Scott Brand saying, oh, you've managed to do it. So, what are the other ones? That one there, wasn't it? Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. So further upgrades. The Simpsons Bart's Nightmare. I think I had this. Um, I think it's probably the same case, but I have now got a Man of the Wow. So that's nice to get that. No more Simpsons games on the Mega Drive needs to get. This one you remember really well. Actually, it's changed. I just changed. I've just realised I've changed the sticker. Uh, Daffy Duck in Hollywood. And you'll recall mine was all fucking, it's all water damaged. Look at that, change the little, little heart now, look. Change the thing. This is in great condition. <laughs> this near, this took over a week to come. I actually logged a, um, a ticket, so say it's not turned up. And the day after it turned up. But the day after it turned up, it was posted 24 hours, so they posted it the day before. So I don't know if the... Sh 
CX head office had contacted them and they'd forgot this or they just hadn't, they'd been slack with postage. This is in fucking great condition for box. This is just box. All these are boxes, you know, always boxing me. So absolutely fantastic. Well, well, amazing, you know, amazing upgrade that is. Fucking my eyes, I feel like I'm swimming. So there they come with the upgrade. New additions. The new, new additions. Um, God, I don't think there's much difference in that order. Cheaper one that I didn't have. Took me three, three or four, or three or four copies to get a good copy or to get, you know, to piece together a decent one. Galaxy Force 2, in fact, it was only eight quid. Um, yeah, this is really nice now. It's really nice copy, really nice clean copy. Um, it is really nice, it is. So there's that one. This one has taken me, this is the fourth copy of this one. I can see the, all the all the fucked up ones out. I'll show you. I'll show you the fucked up ones. Bear with. Right. So we have, uh, eventually, uh, and I still think this looks sun faded to me. Someone could tell me, I, I still think it's sun faded. We have X-Men. Gone down in price. This was about, tw this is 20 quid. Down to 15 now, which is why I sort of jumped on it. Um, but I don't. I think that Marvel sign there is sun faded, but Bert, it's the same there. So not very often do you get the back and the side kind of the same sun faded. So I don't know if it's just me, because it's the same there as well. But do you see what I mean? If you looked at that spine, that looks like it's sun faded. Um, it's complete. But I'll just show you the spines on these. Look, these are the ones that are going back. I mean, look at that fucking thing. So, yeah. Just show me. Four copies. Four copies of X Men to get a decent one. Got like some tasty ones now. All blue spines. Um, one of them. Oh, I can't know. I had to sell, I had to sell, I had to salvage the, the manual. I don't like to do this. Um, it kind of is a stopgap as well, but it is complete technically. I've had to put a bit of tape on it. I don't like taping stuff, but it's that or it, it'll just disintegrate. And I thought it's better to preserve what's there rather than to let it you know, go to rack and ruin. So I'll do that one now. Um, it's probably the best order anyway. I don't, it's not cheap, not a cheap game. So it is all there. It is Justice League Task Force. So new new case. You can see there the old one had a split, but obviously that's obviously not there. It's just the remnants because it, it was that fucking far gone. It's obviously just tore into the insert. And the man, and as you can see on the manual lot, it, basically I think the back and the front have come away from each other, which is a real shame. Uh, Again, the weird shit on these blue ones where it looks like all the all the glue, all the gum is bleeding through the label. So it all looks like dirty, but it's not. It's just, it's just whatever they, I think whatever adhesive they use on these blue spines, it doesn't like the, uh, it doesn't like the paper. Um, this one I've done really well with. I'm, you know, there's no doubt about it. I think, can't want to pay for it now. Maybe 30, maybe 20, I can't, I, not sure. I've never seen it on CX before, not to sort of say it's never been on there, I just haven't seen it. Quite a, a tricky one to get, I think, at the best of times anyway. It's come through, it's all complete. You know, it's not mint, because obviously it's boxed anyway, but it's mint enough for me. And it is uh, Pocahontas, the blue spy. Yeah, it doesn't tell you, I've stuck a stick on the back here, but it doesn't tell you the price. Yeah, so what's the CX stuff take off now? But uh, yeah, don't. It might be forty quid. I've got an inkling it's thirty-ish, thirty odd, um, and it is complete. See, that's got no weird. That label looks. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. I think with some of these blue spines. I don't know why it's like that. 
yeah. Tricky one to get. And then the last one, again, I've seen this a few times. So this, this was expensive. Uh, 50 quid, I think. Um, I've seen it a few times on there. And again, this is still off the back of um, the Xbox One money because so a lot of stuff's gone back, come back in again, ordered it again, yada, yada, yada. So until I've run that, that credit, because when you take stuff back and you return it back, you just get the, the, um, the voucher back. So you pay cash, you get your PayPal cash back. So this is definitely bought with um, credit. 50 quid, I'm sure it's 50 quid. Well worth it. Um, them that use CEX a lot, and someone who's probably, probably more schooled than I am in CEX, what I tend to find, because I'm only looking at Mega Drive games at the minute, mainly, Mega CD. What I tend to find is anything that's in Sheffield, um, Hull, and there's one other place. I think they're the sort of the dumping ground for everything counts. It just seems, so it's just one of the guys who goes, oh no, it's probably just coincidence. No, it's, it's not, it can't be. Can't be, man. It's Sheffield, Hull, and there's another place. I think it might be down south somewhere. I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, it just seems to be like, I don't know if that's where everything gets returned to, and they, I don't know. I'm sure there's something going on because there's too much retro that drops into them places. Um, so when this one came on, I checked where it was, and it wasn't in any of them. Whereas, um, what did I have before? That expensive game, fucking hell, you twat. Uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, that was from Hull. And I thought that's not that's not going to be complete. I don't know why, I just knew it wouldn't be complete. Um, but this one was somewhere different. Don't know where it's come from, but it wasn't any of them places. And it's the ooze. Again, blue spine from a man, Scott Brand, Sega Zombie. And this. I don't know why it wasn't mint, but that is fucking ridiculous. So all the CEX haters, you can go fuck yourself. That's it, we're done. I am like sweating like a motherfucker. I need to consume more beer. <laughs> and I've got to put the room back together. I don't want to do it. Take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.